Please welcome your host, Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So I was one of the lucky people that were able to attend the Power Platform Community Conference in Las Vegas not too long ago. And during that conference, there were a couple of really amazing keynotes where Microsoft announced a whole bunch of new features to the public. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The first thing I want to talk about is the fact that custom co-pilots has a new name now. We're no longer calling them co-pilots. We're now calling them agents. And yes, I know what you're thinking. First, they were power virtual agents. Then they were co-pilots. And now we're back to calling them agents. Absolutely, you got that right. Now, a big difference, difference here is that these agents actually have a lot more functionality than the custom co-pilots that we're used to. So these agents will actually handle specific business processes. So think about being able to have an agent that just handles the onboarding of a new customer or, or maybe that's handling an order process where it will actually check the inventory, it will go and see if there's an approval process, right? Maybe if an order is over $1,000, it wants to go through an approval process, all of that, again, can be handled by an agent. Now, the other thing that's different from agents and right, the custom co-pilots that we're used to before is that these agents can now also be triggered by events. And what I mean by that is, right, previously we would start a chat with a co-pilot, but now we can actually utilize any of the existing uh, triggers that are part of the Power Platform, right, to trigger an agent. So this could be maybe an email message has been received, right, that can trigger an agent starting to walk through that business process. Or maybe there's a new row added to a table in Dataverse that could also start that process for an agent as well, right? So lots of changes here. Uh, the way that this works is that there's actually an orchestrator uh, that is using the instructions, right, from that agent to de determine what the correct order of the steps are. So you're, right, just like we're used to before, um, we can put knowledge in there and we can put uh, documents in there, et cetera, right? But then uh, we can also put actions in there. And what's gonna happen is, again, that orchestrator is going to look at the, the instructions that it got to actually pick the right actions in the right order at the right time. So that's another thing. Now you're also gonna see a history tab, right? Where you're gonna be able to see all the times that the agent was triggered. And this is gonna be interesting because you can also see if an agent wasn't able to finish the entire process. So let's say there's gonna be a step in there where we wanna send an email to somebody, right? But maybe there is no email address in the system. So then the agent stops, right? It can't finish the process because there's no email address. So what could happen then is it could actually suggest a change or an update. It can actually learn, right, from what went wrong and then suggest to do something else. So let's say if there is no email address found, maybe we want to send an email to an admin or something like that, right? So we can do things like that as well. The other thing that I wanted to mention is that there's now a lightweight experience uh, that's going to be available inside of M365 Copilot or, or Biz Chat, right? So that that window that we're all familiar with, if we're chatting with Copilot, and we're going to be able to create our agents directly from within Biz Chat. And the same thing is going to be available in SharePoint. So now you can create those SharePoint type of agents directly from within a SharePoint site as well, which is very, very nice. Another thing that I wanted to mention is Copilot Pages, also a completely new functionality that's now being added uh, here. The way that this works is it actually lives inside of uh, Copilot for business, right? Biz Chat, M365 Copilot, whatever you want to call it. And the way it works is that you can compile information from that chat and then share that on one of those Copilot pages, right? Then you can also share that page with other folks in your team and then you can start to collaborate on that, right? Other members of your team can then also add data into it. 
um, right? You can, you, when you see the image here, you can see that it almost looks like a loop component in there, right? You can create these lists. Um, you can do all sorts of things in there as well. So also wanted to mention that because I think that's going to be another very nice tool that we're now going to be able to, uh, to use internally, right? To uh, collaborate with folks as well. And then of course, this is one of my favorites here. This is called Plan Designer. And the way that this works, it actually utilizes the same co-pilot that we're already used to inside of Power Apps. But it's gonna be able to do a lot more. Now makers can now start the process of app development or, or a solution even, right? By just entering in, by typing in what that business scenario is, while they're also adding data for plan designer to use like, you know, screenshots from another application, uh, documents, process diagrams, right? You name it, you can add all of that stuff. What then happens is plan designer is actually going to think through that business process or the business problem, I should say, and then it's gonna build out those requirements and assets based on the information that was provided, right? And then it's gonna create user stories and user roles, data uh, models, uh, apps that can be created as part of that solution, right? So it's really building out that plan for you. So this is another one, like I said, that I'm super excited about and I cannot wait to see uh, how that's gonna work uh, inside of Power Apps. Two more I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, one of them is called Smart Filtering and this reminds me a little bit of what you probably have seen within Power BI where you access a Power BI report and then in natural language, you can just start asking questions about the data, right? Now, this is a little bit different. What you'll see here is that you're actually uh, inside of a model-driven app and then you see a view in that model-driven app and instead of manually having to set all those filters, right? For example, user equals person that's logged in, um, status equals new, all that type of stuff that you have to do now manually, you can now just go ahead and use natural language to explain what exactly you're looking for. And then Copilot is going to add the filters automatically for you, right? So you don't have to do anything else than that. So that's very, very interesting uh, as well. And then lastly, I thought this was, was this one was really cool as well. This is called Smart Paste. And the demo that they were showing was actually in a model-driven app. So on one side, we saw the model-driven app, and on the other side, we saw Outlook. And there was an email in there, fairly long email. And what Ryan Cunningham was showing is that it just copied and pasted the data from Outlook, then went into the model-driven app, opened a form, a new form, right, to create a new row in Dataverse, and then we just hit Control C for pasting it, or Control V, sorry, Control C is copy, we did paste, and then it automatically filled in the data in those columns uh, automatically, and this obviously works together with the form fill experience that we've already had. So pretty cool things, right? Pretty cool things that are coming uh, to the Power Platform to all those different apps. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.